good afternoon and if everybody wants to take a deep breath my goodness what an incredible amount of information thank you to google for the partnership and now extending down to our partners again mike clark and you can see the title but quite frankly i live and breathe healthcare. so the opportunity with google is just uh, incredible uh peter you know mentioned it way back in the beginning about uh again the opportunities working with google one of the very few things that has come you know good or positive out of the pandemic is that finally the allowance not adoption i'll come back to that allowance of telehealth and why google and gcp is just so important and again if you don't understand why telehealth is now and that was not three years ago it's because again get into the weeds cms never allowed reimbursement for you and i to do a zoom or teams or any type of call without you know remotely without going to the doctor's office march of 2020 those gloves were taken off hhs pumped uh, over 100 billion in year one they continue so to have that google relationship and google cloud is so critical as we move forward so anyway you can look at um you know the agenda about the the partner pathway program lisa alluded to it and i'll come back why it's so important to have multiple partners in your ecosystem selling your products because like most of us we all come out of technology and data center we know all those key vendors that we used to sell now going into cloud you know again with google i'm sure you've been doing a great job selling you know workspaces and chromebooks and maybe even gcp but again now with telehealth they need more they need the total solution and even though all of us here sell to healthcare sometimes when it gets into really selling into healthcare um, we believe that you need some additional uh, resources at the table with you so we'll talk about the ecosystem that google and ingram uh, has built out thus far uh, next slide please so uh, lisa went into it just a little bit these may not be uh, recognized names to you but again these three current uh, ecosystem partners of Google and Ingram, they're 100% healthcare from top, top to bottom, side to side. Keystone Technologies, just like Lisa alluded to, they go in when it comes to EMR adoption, EMR, your electronic medical record. Again, our customer base in the US is about 6,500 hospitals. Probably 98, 99% of those EMRs are still in the data center on IBM, HP, or Dell servers. Uh, again, I live in Florida, so I don't want to use the term tsunami or hurricanes, but there's a storm out there brewing about the, you know, looking at the transformation of, hey, maybe we don't have to have that EMR hosted anymore in the data center, and it can be on GCP. Keystone, they live and breathe doing assessments, then, they, you know, data-led migrations of those petabytes, and I say that lightly when you get into healthcare information, not only patient information, but especially medical images. And then the ongoing caring and feeding of, a, uh, of an EMR, and they're an MSP. They're a 30-person shop, again, out of St. Louis, but they live and breathe healthcare. My goodness, with the relationships that you have with your hospitals and maybe even large physician groups, they would love to be a partner. Both of us will be in Miami Beach in two weeks, whoever's down, down that way. Otherwise, we can set up a remote call. Clear data, um, they live and breathe. Talk about a narrow swim lane. Again, when you talk about <clears throat> my patient information, then you get into all kinds of compliancy issues, starting with HIPAA, which everybody knows, PHI, you get into high trust, even throw PCI in there anymore because you're going to start, you know, when you have a, a 15 minute uh, review with your doctor. You're going to swipe your on Square your you know your credit card and make that copay so PCI comes into play. But let me come back to the one regulatory compliance acronym there. And again, I always tell the the robber story when the C levels here PHI arms go up because they don't want their names on the pay, in the front page. They don't want to pay a big fine, and they definitely don't want to go to jail. So PHI, that's all clear data does is work with part, partners such as yours. Again, leveraging your relationships. They're out of Austin, Texas. Uh, look them up. Uh, what they've done with Google with some of the largest insurance companies, I will not share names, uh, but they're proven as far as a, a Google uh, partnership and even downstream to you. 
ROI, we just signed them. They're a global consulting company, about 110 person. I would say a third of them are ex-CIOs. So again, when you get in that you know opportunity to have a solution sell conversation, boy, what a unique opportunity having an ex-CIO going into your hospital and looking because they've been on that side. So that's the type of you know ecosystem that Google and Ingram have developed thus far. Um, we're definitely together vetting additional ones, but we want to make sure that they're committed starting to Google, to Ingram, to you, and again, overall to the healthcare industry. Okay, hopefully I've, uh, you know, sort of wet the appetite enough and you'll reach out to either to your Ingram or Google AE and we can do a deeper dive if this has got you uh, sort of salivating, as they say. Next slide. So again, a lot of verbiage. Uh, I don't want to go into it. Look at the cloud solutions. Again, you know, Lisa hit on it a little bit, but it really comes down to, again, how do we get the, not only the EMR, and again, if you're taking notes or if you're in healthcare, you know Epic is the number one EMR, about 3,000 hospitals. Cerner is number two with, you know, about 2,000. Then you have all scripts and Meditech. Again, 98, 99% still in the data center. They're going to start moving. We were at HIMSS last year in August. It was a general conversation. We just came out of HIMSS 2022 in March in Orlando. It definitely is the conversation. Uh, Epic has already moved a couple of their, not tier one, we haven't gotten to the UPMCs or Cleveland Clinic or you know Houston Medical Center. Once they move to the cloud, you will see the masses start that, hey, I need to be looking at that as an alternative to keep up you know, with my competition down the street. So again, assessments, migrations, EMR hosting, again, compliancy is just huge. Again, those key relationships with clear data and Keystone, that's part of our, <clears throat> again, ecosystem. And the target audience, yeah, because healthcare, when you throw that, and I always use acronym, boy, it can really mean a lot of things, but really for us in the channel and coming from technology, it really means about going after the hospitals, a lot of them internally refer to those as providers. That doesn't mean physician groups. And again, that is a sweet spot and low hanging fruit. And I'll share just in a couple slides, the investment we've made to help you sell into those, uh, not all 6,000 hospitals, but whatever's in your customer base. Next slide. So again, working with uh, Google, I think I just go to the top right you know, again, it's about evaluation and adoption, bringing into the ecosystem, the GCP, you know, healthcare ISVs, because healthcare is a very complex, I mean, quite frankly, if you've ever looked at any CIO who puts up, if it's a small to medium, it'll be hundreds of applications that are, are best in breed. They're all competitors. They don't play nice. It's a uh, cluster. I think I can say that and everything else, you get up into 500 beds and larger, you're into thousands of applications. So any type of migration that we're talking to, even though it makes sense, you know, hey, we should be looking and moving to the cloud, um, again, you're gonna have to have some expertise. So that's why I think the partnership of all the bullets and takeaways is working with GCP and Ingram on our healthcare ISV ecosystem. And then again, I talked in the beginning about I'll, I'll put the challenge out when we have our deeper call about you're going to know the CIO, the director of IT, you're going to know procurement. Those are all the naturals, you know, from a technology channel perspective. But if you don't know, and I'm going to talk about the investment, you do need to know that CMIO. Again, it's probably an ex-doctor who, again, knows information also. And I think the other one, and Jody always cracks up, is the CNO. I think that's, if not the number two, could be the number one most powerful person in the hospital because they're all about, when you're a nurse, it's all about the uh, outcome, customer experience. And if you can help the nurses with a couple more minutes an hour, they'll be your best friend. Otherwise, yes, they will be your worst enemy. So again, just some other folks as we build out a go-to-market plan with Google and you and the healthcare vertical, again, we want to make sure that you really understand who the key players are outside of our normal technology audience. Next slide. 
So again, the cheat sheet here with Google is together with the Google AEs and their <clears throat> industry experts, and trust me, I'm in healthcare and everything, but boy, when you look at some of the, the names and the backgrounds of the Google healthcare folks, that's who you wanna sit, you know, having a uh, part of building out your plan. I talked about the CMIO and the other different, you know, uh, <clears throat> individuals that you need to be aware of. There's one uh, database uh, in the industry, it's, it used to be known as HIMSS Analytics, for those of you that are old school, if I can say that, they were acquired by Definitive, but it's the one database that this 6,000 plus hospitals update on an ongoing basis. And again, just high level, I mean, it tells you who's who, all their software, all their hardware, preferred, preferred vendors, uh, budgets, uh, it just goes on and on. Um, Ingram has been very fortunate that we subscribed to a uh, subscription this year and roughly about, I don't know, 75K. I can't get over, give over a log on to you, but I can help sit down you know, with their, your individual plan and run all kinds of reports from a marketing perspective, or if you wanna go call on Cleveland Clinic up in my beloved Ohio, we can run a 100 page report and share anything and everything about that particular you know, location. Again, we've already referenced uh, Keystone and Clear Data. And then again, coming down now to HIMS. and again, for if you're just keep, keeping the, trying to keep up with me, we did participate at HIMS a couple months ago. Uh, first time for, with Ingram, we did have three partners in there, Keystone and Clear Data, because it's mainly a C-level end user uh, um, audience or conference. This year was still light uh, coming out of the pandemic, roughly 22, maybe 25,000. Next year in 2023, it's in April at McCormick Center in Chicago. And knock on wood, they fully expect to be back 40, closer to 50,000 people. So if you have an interest of working with Google and Ingram, possibly being an exhibitor, you can reach out to your AE or myself, and uh, we'll have that conversation is, quite frankly, both companies are investing heavily in healthcare in this vertical. So. Hopefully uh, I've uh, given you enough uh, takeaways that uh, you reach out and we have a follow-up uh, deeper dive conversation. But with all that said, hey, it always comes down, you still gotta have services to plug you know, all the holes. And whether or not you, know, you as a partner and we can plug those gaps, or maybe sometimes from services, we can extend your services offering.